when was the last time you played arcade? Of course, the question comes out of the blue, however, I don't think it's necessarily that much of an issue. I know lots of people who play various different types of game modes from time to time and who experiment with this kind of thing. And I haven't really played arcade since probably the April Fool's event of this year, where we flew some interesting, very sort of aircraft at a incredibly fast pace and rate. Which was something to get used to it and a bit of a challenge in itself from going from playing realistic all the time to going to play arcade. It was a nice change. So, my question to you is, have you tried arcade recently? In any format? Let me know down below. Now, I'm not here to sell you a product. However, I am here to sort of challenge your perspective on something. Oof, absolute pilot snap out of that guy. The problem is, with War Thunder, it tends to get a bit stale in a lot of environments. Air realistic for low tiers is, well, climb side climb or climb directly at your enemies. You know, take after a couple of grand units and then just basically team deathmatch unless you're at top tier jets which is obviously the opposite and it's just missile thunder now i am trying to spade all of the aircraft in game and that presents two problems one i can't take a multiple lineups of vehicles out at one time so now i can actually get research points for different aircraft types obviously that allows me to research multiple things at once but you do get less research points on average unless you're doing extremely well i find that low tier arcade well it is an absolute blast and is a fun thing to do it is quite a different pace and i enjoy it thoroughly there's something about just the chaotic nature of this game mode particularly within air that just invokes a sort of sense of mystery a rem reminder of the old days you know playing some of the maps that you wouldn't see in air realistic in any case or even in air simulator or enduring confrontation or any of the other game modes because they only exist in arcade for example maps with capture the points or defend and land at enemy airfields or uh, the area denial map where basically he who controls or has the most aircraft in a sector gets to start capping that sector stuff like that and i guess the diversity in air arcade is that of well more diverse more interesting and a little less complex when it comes to general gameplay you can't say the same for air realistic which has four bases uh, bombing bases that is you know a couple of ground units sprinkled out in an airfield at either side and you're expected to what make gameplay out of that i mean sometimes it just really writes itself in some cases if war thunder had better game modes and better just map design in general maybe there would be a an incentive for more players to play different game modes but this is why i'm suggesting that you go and play arcade bit of fresh air bit of fresh breath because ultimately war thunder is probably not going to change a great deal and that's the ultimate reality of this they might add new vehicles in they might add a couple of new maps here and there but ultimately there is no change that is going to make the game better right new vehicles isn't going to fix a shiny turd so to speak and while the game isn't exactly great you know it's not without its issues Arcade just lets you forget about those completely because you're flying a completely inaccurate flight model and just having a bunch of fun, right? Something that people tend to forget to have in a video game sometimes because ultimately War Thunder is a fun game, but we choose to focus on the negatives because that's the easy thing to do and it's human nature to focus on the negatives. It's how we survive, after all. Just be thankful that air realistic battles at current isn't like the situation over at the simulator community where there are people and hordes of people basically just farming and bots just farming kills by, you know, completely removing themselves from their aircraft when they get nearer to an enemy target. Of course, some of that has been alleviated in recent times with some uh, patches, but suffice to say that well the game is that diverse is it really worth keeping a simulator mode or is it really worth keeping an arcade mode and i think you know eighty six thousand players if you divide them between three or four different game modes or six game modes considering there is tanks actually no it's nine game modes because of naval uh yeah there's a lot of people wanting different things for a game and it's hard to satisfy the majority of people which is probably why they focused on you know providing us new content rather than giving us 
uh, changes that the majority of the community want. For example, butter rating, decompression, or uh, economy updates. But hey, I'm not a developer. I don't know how to develop a game. The point being is, go and try something new. Even if you don't want to do it, I suggest you go take a look. Maybe it will change your outlook on how War Thunder uh, is. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ash.